Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. Uh, this is a tool I use to teach with. Uh, it's a really nice tool for visualizing what's happening when you execute lines of code in a program. And uh, it's at uh, www.pythontutor.com slash visualize. If you type in the word visualize in Python in Google, it's usually the first site you find listed. Uh, what it allows you to do, and it actually allows it for a lot of different languages, um, C and JavaScript and Ruby is, uh, in fact, let's go to Python uh, 3.6 so we get different versions of Python, is you can write some code and see it actually what it does. So just let me do a really simple demonstration. I'll just set um, A equal to 10 and B equal to a list to 3 and C equal to a list that points to A and then points to B and then has a hundred in it and then I'll set uh, B equal to C. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say visualize the execution and so it has a little pointer to show where we are and it has, uh, you can go backward and forward, you can go all the way to the end, so I'm going to go forward one step and you see it in the global frame, it created variable A with value 10. Go forward, it created uh, C pointing to a list with 1, 2, 3 in it. We go forward, we created C pointing to a list that has, uh, uh, let's see, 10 and points to the other list and then 100. And then we'll, one more, and we have uh, B is now pointing to the same list as the other one is. So it gives you a pointers for what's happening in your code. And to do a little uh, uh, more complex diagram, I'm going to put in a simple linked list class. Let me paste this in. So this is a simple linked list class. I have a node object that has data and a link. It's going to do a singly linked list. I, I have a, a, a class to hold the list which has a head that point to the first node in the list and an add which will add a node to the to start of the list and uh, so we start out by creating a single link list and then we add one two three and four so let's visualize it and again we can step through so it steps through every line as if you're in debugger so we're, it skips over the two definitions, but the two definitions define uh, what node is in single link list. So they point to the node class and the single link list class. So you get some information there. And then we're going to step and create our an empty list. So we get a, an init self that is a single link list instance. And then we go forward. And it's doing the init. So you can see now that it's initialized, it's a link list, points to a head, which points to none. And now if I step through the ads, Okay, so after the first ad, you'll see that we have head, and that points to a node, which has a data of one. And we go, keep going till we get to the next ad. You can see we've added the next item to the link list. And let's go to the last. And you'll see here's the head of the list and it points to the whole link list. So you can visually see your uh, data structures pointing to each other. And when you get into advanced programming, uh, this can be very uh, useful if you're trying to figure out how to delete a, a node in a single link list to visualize how it's working. Uh, so this is a great tool. If you find something like this example and you want to share it on your website or share it with other people, uh, one, you can create a link so you can share this. It'll store it up here. Or you can create some embed code that you can put it on your site. So it's got some nice features. And they recently added this uh, live chat for people helping each other with code in these boxes. So it's also great for students to work out short little problems. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll see an icon in the lower right to do that and you'll receive notifications when I post new videos. Thank you.